Complete Zhao's trial. We're way behind schedule. I'm doing my best, lady. Commence. Well, let me just get some stamina back first. Okay. The trial's begun. I can feel it in the air. Even the weather's changed. Uh, I'm too low level for this. Born of ice and frost. I don't actually know what our abilities are, so you know. I'm gonna suck at this. Oh, I've got other people, dude. Don't even need to use her. Not timed. This is great. Oh no, not you. Oh, I hate you, lot. No touching. This is long overdue. This is very pretty. Ring cutter. Boom boom. Okay, probably not the most effective attack against fire creatures, but whatever. Oh my god, Gunny's attack is still going. Holy shit. Wind, hear me. Direction may even going in. Where's the thingy? Not over here. Oh well, that's gonna suck. Hello? Rain outlines your all hail. Motion to come to Yikes! Breath of the flame! Hurry up! Come over here! I've got Ganya's attack going. Jesus Christ. Yep, whatever. Go. To ashes. Rain outlines your fate. Born of ice with no touching. This is long overdue. We're way behind schedule. Barbados. Born if I can fix this. Access denied. No, my sword. Let me weave you a verse. Get an invisible avatar. Power that ended high, Sean. Oh, she's stunned. Nice. This weather is perfect. We should move out. <laughs> we're, we're a little busy, Jane. <laughs> Doing something a little more important. Oh, what actually, what is this? Nothing important? Okie dokie. I've completed your trial. You don't have to report back to me. Seeking other people's validation won't benefit your training. He's right. But do you have to say it with such, like, a accusatory tone? Only you can evaluate the result of this trial. You'll progress faster that way. Um, understood. Xiao always has such strong opinions. He could be nice of all sharing them. <laughs> From tomorrow on, I'll start raising the difficulty of your training, so you'll have to... Do I have to lower my world level? <laughs> I have to do what? <sighs> Another one of those pesky visitors. Why are you here? I'll leave him to you, Ganyu. It's also a part of your training. Pesky visitor? So even here, there are those that Xiao can't deal with? What up? Oh, oh heavens. Pilgrim. Blessed be Rex Lapis. I've finally come upon the Adepti. Are all of you the Adepti of this mountain? Do I bloody look like an Adepti, sir? Uh, great. My name's Sin Chung. I came to ask for your merciful blessings, O Adepti. I beg of you, please grant me luck, wealth, and a good career. It's been granted. Bugger off. Oh, so it's a pilgrim. Such a materialist. I can see why Xiao finds this type troublous. Huh. He can handle any battle, but talking to strange humans is a different story, huh? I don't think it's that he can't handle it, Paimon. It's just that he doesn't want to, and I can totally understand not wanting to deal with people. I... 
am also one of the Adepti. You can say that I'm an Adeptus in training. Perfect. I didn't come in vain then. Although you sound a bit half-hearted. That uh, doesn't matter. <laughs> what blessings can you grant me? None. Wow. Straight to the point, huh? Well, what are you going to do for her? Dear Pilgrim, you shouldn't jump to conclusions. Adepti don't help every Pilgrim for free. For free? Do you mean that you charge people for the blessings of the Adepti? Oh, well, why should they just do it for free? Like, they're not gaining anything from it. Ah, uh, that's not what I meant. What I'm trying to say is that everything should be earned through hard work and earnest living. It would be unfair to other people if you got everything you wanted for no reason. Hold on, hold on. I've heard this all before. You're just like my old man, always nagging me. Well, do you think maybe there's a reason for it, Xing Zhong? Your father must have experienced it firsthand. The lives of the common folk are riddled with hardships, but are also full of joy. A person of your age should focus on work and family, instead of chasing after fairy tales. Are you a real adeptus? Why do you speak and behave like us city folk? I mean, Xiao wouldn't have been any worse. Well, actually, he would have been more abrupt, but it would have been the same same. You sure you're not one of those swindlers who poses an adeptus to cheat people out of their money? God, he got angry very quickly. You just can't take criticism. Ugh, enough. It doesn't matter if you're a real adeptus or not. You're useless. I'm leaving. Well, why don't you go put your back into your work and actually make something of yourself, sir? Bye! <laughs> Nobody's stopping you. Uh... Kanyu, don't let that guy ruin your mood. Uh, it's not his behavior. The things he said... He was right. I thought that coming back to Juyun Karst and devoting myself to training would make me feel like an adeptus again. But being questioned by him made me realize that I... Go back to Liyue Harbor with but us. I'm unwelcome in Liyue Harbor. As an adeptus, I... We told you it was a misunderstanding. It's true! Just believe us! Uh, all right. I'll go with you to Liyue Harbor. That said, I still trust my initial judgment. If I'm proven right, I'll return to Juyun Karst once again. It's a step in the right direction. Let's go! Oh, we're going to the outskirts of Leo. We're not actually going in. Righto. Still. Come on, Ganyu! We're almost there! You don't want to turn back now, do you? I suppose you have a point. It would be quite impolite of me to leave the two of you now. I mean, not really. If you really don't want to be here, I'm not going to force you to be here. That's right! Where do you want to go first, then? I've spent too much time in the mountains. The first thing that comes to my mind is the sea. Let's go for a walk in the port. Happy to come with. Okay. I guess. Where specifically? Yeah, that's what I thought. I ain't doing that by foot. If I don't have to actively walk with her, then I'll just meet her there. Better not taking damage again, because I tried to glide. <sighs> the sound of the waves in this familiar port. The smell of the sea breeze makes me nostalgic. Where are you guys working now that the Jade Pavilion? Jade Pavilion? The thing in the sky is no longer in the sky. That was Ningguan's, like, workspace. So where do you work now? Is it in that building we were at? Ganyu, you didn't leave Liyue for that long. Why do you look so moved? Well... I used to be so busy. I haven't taken a stroll around here in a long time. That sounds like a you problem. Huh. That's true. Ganyu seem to be working all the time. Why don't you just hire some more people? Why 
why is this not an easy solution? I just don't understand. Like if those three secretaries were struggling to do her work, why didn't they just get a temp worker in? Like, <laughs> it's really not that hard to admit that you need to pay somebody else to get the job done. Well, when I think about my time here, I've spent most of it behind a desk filing documents. Again, it sounds like a you problem if you're doing nothing to resolve it. It put me in a certain mood. Similar to the one I felt during my training in Juyun Karst, in fact. Why, isn't it little Miss Ganyu? This has real creepy vibes. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought I'd meet you here. You were always so terribly busy. Th this old man called her little Miss Ganyu. It, it's a bit awkward. Um, allow me to introduce Uncle Tien. He is... Mm. That's all right. Just tell them the truth. They have done so much for Leo, after all, and I am the one who has yet to introduce myself. Uncle Tian is a member of the Leo Achising, the Tianshu. Have I met this dude before? You don't seem familiar, but then again, this game has been strung out over so many freaking months. I have no idea who I haven't haven't met. What? This grandpa is a member of the Chising? The same rank as Mingguan? Hush now. I must ask for your discretion concerning my identity. Fishing in the port and strolling about are the greatest pleasures of my life. I have no wish to be followed around by those armed guards. I finally realized what's wrong with your face. It's your eyebrows, sir. There's this thing called, you know, color theory and, and, you know, the way hair naturally goes with age and time and just in general. Your eyebrows are always darker than your hair. I can't speak for people who have shades of black because I'm not quite sure how that works. But for anybody with white hair right down to brown hair, your eyebrows are always darker than your, your hair. But for whatever reason, your eyebrows are lighter than your hair. And that's why it looks so goddamn weird because it's not natural and it hurts to look at. It's weird. Uncanny Valley. That's the problem. In most people's eyes, I'm just a forgetful and wordy old man. I'm sure you do nothing to dispel that image. <laughs> hmm. Uncle Tian is too modest. He's been around for a long time. There's no one who can replace a person of such noble character. I'm trying to remember if I've ever messed with him. <laughs> oh, little Miss Ganyu. Your kind words make me feel that my decades of hard work haven't been in vain. Uncle Tian, a person of your standing should really stop calling me Little Miss Ganyu. Oh, my apologies. It's not intentional, just a childhood habit of mine. A childhood habit? Is it really a childhood habit if you're an old man and you're still doing it? Isn't it just a habit? A childhood habit would be if you were like in your 20s and you were still doing something you did in your childhood because your childhood was like not that long ago. But you can't have a childhood habit when you're an old man. It, it, it doesn't make sense, sir. It's just a habit. Thank you for looking after me when I first ascended to my position in the Chi Sing. Oh, so you've been friends for many decades now, huh? Paimon, how old did you think Ganyu was? She's old. Oh. I was just fulfilling my duties as the Qixing secretary. It's nothing worthy of your gratitude. Talking about secretaries... Oh, I don't know if I should bring it up. Uh, Ganyu, I believe you know my daughter, Huixin? She seems to be a bit troubled recently. Speaking of secretaries, what, are you wanting her to hire her as a fourth secretary? Yes, she works at Yuahai Pavilion and she's my junior. How can I help her? <laughs> I don't know myself, really. Uh, she's all grown up now and doesn't like to ask for my help. May I trouble you to meet her at UAI Pavilion? She just needs a bit of guidance. With pleasure. Solving the Chi Sing's problems has always been in my job description. She's back in character, just like that, huh? Um, just as expected of a cheating member. He's actually helping Ganyu. I'm afraid Ganyu didn't even notice. Mm. Let's move then to your high pavilion. How far away is that? Ugh. I had a feeling that would be the case. It's a nope from me. 
I mean, while we're here, we should go get some silk flowers, because Yanfei needs them for something. Let's go do that first. I think it's her level up materials. Not that I'm looking to level her up, but you know. It doesn't hurt to have them in my possession. Oh, <laughs> Is that you, Madam Bing? lilies over here not that I use them for literally anything because I don't have geo characters actually I don't know if it's geo specifically I know that Ningguang uses them and I don't have Zhongli to know what he uses alrighty why are you want me uh this way hello wishing question is gone you it's been too long i don't know why but seeing you brings me a sense of peace in these chaotic times i'm the chaotic times kind of over with we've, we've moved on from rex lap is no longer existing we've moved on from his death and, and the shit that was happening everything's quite peaceful now indeed it has been a while Huixin. i'm flattered but aren't you exaggerating a little I heard that you've encountered some problems, and came to see if I could be of some help. <sighs> My father asked you to come, didn't he? Yup. Abusing his status as a member Ow. of the Qixing to trouble you. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm always happy to help a junior colleague from Yuahai Pavilion. Ganyu's not only a competent secretary, but also a great mentor. You, you thought otherwise? So, what can you tell me about the problem? Ugh, where should I start? I discovered something strange while organizing tax records. What on earth could be strange about tax records? There are obvious irregularities in the tax declarations of two stores, Second Life and Wanyo Boutique. However, whether I question the shopkeepers or check their accounts, I, I can't seem to make any progress with my investigation. Are they colluding together? Without any evidence, my hands are tied. I see. It's not uncommon for merchants to be blinded by greed. Well, is there any solution you can advise? Naturally. I've dealt with similar issues hundreds of times. Give me a moment to consider the best approach in this scenario. That's a thousand years of work experience for you. All right. Let's approach it this way, then. Your enemy knows you best. Huh? If I remember correctly, Second Life and Wanyo Boutique are old business rivals, competing for market share due to their similar wares. Maybe that's where they trick you. They used to be rivals, but now they're working together. Hmm. In that case... In that case... Ah! I know what you mean, Miss Ganyu. You want them to expose each other? Exactly. Let's start with Wanyo Boutique. The owner's name is... Bolai, isn't it? Uh, yes, you're right. Follow me, please. Can you just teleport me? Uh, that would be too much to ask for. Alrighty. How far down are we going? Oh, the way down the bottom. Ooh, hi, Glazily. Completely missed you. Okay, touch down safely. I'm really not sure where we're going. Where, where are we going? <clears throat> Lower. Oh, this is the dude underneath. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why did they have to give me that? Bolai, I met you with Zhong Li about the flowers for the, the funeral rites. Any name was familiar. Aha, we meet again, traveler. And you must be from the Yuhai Pavilion? <laughs> I suppose you're about to place a big order. I'd be yeah, no. honored to offer you my wares. Yeah, no. We already placed an order for a funeral. 
That won't be necessary, Mr. Bolai. Wanyo Boutique's credit is not sufficient to accept orders directly from you, a high pavilion. Oh, wow. That's a bit of a, a low blow. Um, Ganyu also suffers from the same problem as Uncle Tian, and her eyebrows are too light. They're lighter than her hair color, and it makes it look weird. It's just not as noticeable because her fringe covers it. But if she didn't have her fringe down, you'd be able to see that it, did, it doesn't sit right. It looks unnatural. Should we need to place such an order, we would certainly go to Second Life instead. So Second Life must be another florist? What? Second Life? Ugh. That rascal Dongshan. He's stealing all of my customers. Well... Second Life's credit has always been excellent, and based on their tax records, their business is thriving. Isn't it illegal what she's doing right now? You can't talk about somebody's tax records to somebody else. <laughs> That's just not okay. <laughs> oh, hmm. Tax records? <laughs> thriving? Huh. Is there anything you'd like to share with us, Mr. Bolai? Don't let that rascal fool you. I know his dirty tricks best. If you don't believe me, show me his tax records. I'm sure I'll find something fishy in there. See my previous point about illegality. You know Second Life's business so well? Of course. Ugh, their every transaction makes my blood boil. How can you see their every transaction? They're not within eye view. I'd rather lose money myself than see that rascal make some. Is that how competitors behave? Well then. Please look over this tax record. What? We'll review Second Life's credit based on your observations. What? This is not legal. I know I'm judging by our own law system, and and, our, and this game doesn't go by our law system, but even by morals. That is so morally bankrupt. Oh my gosh. Oh, of course. I'll read very, very carefully. Line by line and word by word. Uh, th then they're numbers, not words. Ah, here I found it. That exquisite wooden furniture set he bought from Fanmu Carpenters at the beginning of the year. Ugh, he even flaunted it in front of me. Look at the tax record. Not a word about that furniture. And he kept all the profit for himself. I see. He must have gotten rid of all the documents related to this transaction. No wonder there was no trace of it. Hmm, <laughs> I told you so. Just as I expected. Ugh, I can't wait to watch him squirm. But, Ms. Ganyu, despite all this, can't he just flat out deny ever making this transaction? He might have destroyed all the evidence, but I believe the supplier that's what I was thinking. Fanyu Carpenters yeah. might still have some proof of it. I was like, that's cool, but it takes two people to make a transaction, so the other party has to have a record somewhere. Aha, uh -huh. you're right. Master Lu from Fanmu Carpenters must still have the invoice. He wouldn't be swayed by the likes of Dongsheng. I hope so. Let's go to Fanmu Carpenters. It should be near Chingsa Village. <laughs> what? That's so far away. Thank you for shining a light on this case, Mr. Balai. Oh, please, please, that's nothing. I just hope you won't be lenient with him once you find the evidence. That's the best way to show your gratitude. <sighs> I'm afraid I can't go to Chingsa Village. It's all right, Weixin. You can stay in Liyua Harbor and finish your work. Leave the rest to us. Meanwhile, those three secretaries are struggling with her workload. And we're going all the way to Jinxa Village and back. Oh, that's Suckers. so considerate of you. Still, I'm sorry to trouble you like that. Alrighty. I don't remember seeing a carpentry place here. Hmm. But I suppose we've had no need to find it before. Probably should have just taken the bridge. Ah, made it. <laughs>